right, so you guessed it. I'm doing a product review. So Creality was kind enough to send me a resin 3D printer, uh, uh, Halit Maj, I believe, uh, 8K. So as you see, she is packed nicely. Uh, it's got this nice little flip top liddy here, so you don't have to figure out what to do with that. Uh, so in here is an extra film and a calibration sheet. With a package, quick installation owner's guide, plastic scraper, a metal scraper, filters, Allen wrenches, flash drive, and the card for a code with Chichu box for three months or so. We also have power cord and a flexible tube. I'm assuming this is for the filter that's on this. As you can see, she's packed in here pretty well. All right, not sure how to get that out. I'm going to assume we have to turn it on. We will turn it on. Ta da! Oh, it even comes with a beep and a fan. Uh, so this tube hooks into the filter here. This is to filter out all the, the nasties. I know it looks kind of short, but uh, it extends so that you can. You know, poke it out a window or whatever you need to. And that just kind of twists into the back and you see, just stays there. <laughs> Go into tools. Uh, we want manual, manual move it. Uh, apparently it goes up in increments of 10 millimeters. So I'm going to move it up. Look at that. There we go. So we can get that piece out of there. All right, so that come right out. So I have the reservoir off, and this comes with a few different features. Uh, so number one, you need to level this. Uh, I've already leveled this because I've run this for a little while already, so I can get used to it and do my review, of course. Um, but I'm going to show you as soon as we get it down here. What what is expected of that? So this is our calibration card. Like I said, it was in the package with the extra film. can't remember what that film is called. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it went all the way down. And we're not moving, yeah, maybe a little bit. It's not real bad. It's got pressure on everything except for maybe this corner right here. Uh, these all look good. So you're supposed to loosen these up. And then this floats. Woo! That was really tight. So... And just push that down and tighten it back up. And that should have tightened it up some there. So not too bad. So you want resistance. You don't want it to just slide out. As you can see, it's got pretty good resistance. So we've got a couple of different features for our screen. So we have an exposure time, 15 seconds. It'll, it'll show you um, an outline of see what it does there. So that's just 15 second exposure time. If we had resin in there, it'd obviously uh, cure me a square piece of resin. And then it also has a clean feature so that when you have your vat in here and you have resin in it, you get particles and pieces of cured resin that are just kind of floating around. So you can clean the whole surface. So what it does is it exposes the entire screen for 15 seconds that would cure that level and then you can clean any of those particles out that might be sitting in the bottom of it and just scrape that one one piece out you peel it right out of there and all the chunks should be gone now you waste that amount of resin but you're not having to filter it i guess <laughs> so yeah uh, a couple other features is the printer comes with a 10.3 inch LCD monochrome screen with 8K resolution. Build plate 228 by 128 by 230 millimeters with a layer height of 0.05 to 0.15 millimeters with a print speed of one to five seconds per layer. It also comes with an air purification feature for pleasant resin printing with replaceable active carbon filters. It features 
Z-axis dual rigid linear rails. It also comes with a front axis USB port and a 4.3 colored touchscreen. And finally, it comes with an orange Marjark flip lid. It keeps out 98% of accidental UV light exposure. Creality was nice enough to send me some UV resin with this also. So let me get this in there. Now I'm only going to fill up part of it. So we'll go to the So the printer also comes with a slicing program. This one is Halo Box. Uh, it also comes with Chichu Box um, as a free trial, but here I am using Halo Box. So right now I'm trying to pick the size and decide what size I want to make this project. Uh, as opposed to, oops, that's a little too big. Let's bring it back down here a little bit. So this isn't too bad. I just shrink it down a little bit, 50 millimeters, I believe. And, yeah, there we go. That's better. So this program has a hollow feature. So you, this is it here. So this way you don't waste all that resin. You can make it hollow. You're just doing the outside. But this is your choice. So I hollowed it, and you hit this, and it uploads it, and then it slices it. See, so oh, here, I'll, let me uh, show you what that looks like over here. So you bring this one down, and you see how she's hollow down the middle. It's pretty cool. And then this way you don't waste so much resin making that solid you didn't need it in there anyways. So now I want to pick an angle, 45 degrees here, for better better prints with your supports. So, and that's what I'm doing here. And now let's add supports. Come on. And everything in pink is where you want supports. And so we can manually do it or you can have it do it all at once. And load it right here and there we go that's what you get so now that I've got all my supports added uh, we now save it and upload the file so that the printer can read it overall Halo Box is a pretty easy to use user friendly program it comes with the machine so I run into some issues because, like I said, I use this trying to figure out how to use this. I had to reformat the card, so I lost all the program. I lost the sliced uh, object that was sent with it, which was a berserker. I really kind of wanted to print that off, but unfortunately, uh, the card that came with it had to be reformatted. It wouldn't do anything for me. So I now have a different one to do and uh, I, now I slice this in the house as you all seen so that's what we're gonna do um, let's go with uh, that there so see how it pops up like that and we'll tell it to print and it'll probably go all the way up to the top and come all the way back down for me Which is what it's going to do. So why it's doing that. There are settings in here. That I did not know about. So we have a uh, bottom layer. So this is the bottom layer of them. Uh, I want more than three. So you can change these. I can delete that. And I can put it to you know five or six. I'm going to go with six. And go OK. And then we got a bottom exposure time. Now that's a. Uh, 30 seconds. Now, I found that with this resin, 30 seconds is not quite enough time for it to adhere to the build plate. So, we delete that, and I found 45 seconds was great for that. Now, you have normal exposure time. This is for the rest of the layers. And you should probably print off a test sheet first so you can get the right the right amount of exposure time for the detail you want. So if you expose it too long, you get bad detail. If you expose it not long enough, you get bad detail. So uh, those only take, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to do, but it will get you better detail. Uh, on this one here, I believe I had uh, 2.04 uh, 
four seconds, I believe, I went. I didn't change it much. Those those are factory settings on here. And then there's a, I'm not sure what the off exposure is. It's at four, but we'll leave it at that. So there are currently going to be 1,695 layers. So when the build plate comes down, we're going to do this 1,600 times. It's going to take roughly, I think it was six and a half hours. It's not up yet. I think it said six and a half hours on the slicer, something like that. <laughs> All right, so it currently says five hours, 28 minutes, and we are in layer number one. So this is actually my, what do they call it? There's a platform for it. So it's going to do six layers like that at 45 seconds. That You see how that dropped? So that means it's stuck to the plate. Um, I had a lot of issues with it sticking to just the, the that. All right, as you can see, this is going to take a while. So I am going to close the lid, the UV protectant lid. This is 99%, I think it's 99% it blocks out of UV light. Um, it also blocks out 100% of flies, because flies like to get in that. <laughs> so I uh, will come back to this when it's finished in, I don't know, six hours. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So the fact that it comes already assembled, uh, that's a plus. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. I did have to learn how to use it, just as anybody else would. Uh, a lot of research on that and settings and other things. Uh, for the most part, like I said, it's contained. Everything's ready to go right out of the box. Um, add a little bit of resin and put your program in, turn it on, and go. For the most part, I'm happy with it. I, I would suggest if you're getting into it, uh, this is possibly one you'd want. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it does have a few things I didn't care for. Uh, number one, this screen is a, a little small. So when you wear glasses like I do with progressive lenses, you kind of got to get down there low enough to look at it, you know, so you get bobblehead. So that was just an issue, and it's probably because of my glasses and that. Uh, the touch screen on the front's fine. The... The fact that I can't um, program the settings for layers in that other than right here on this screen, even though I'm, I'm able to in the programs, but it doesn't, doesn't mean anything. You have to do it in here. That was kind of an issue. There's no way to override the machine. You did a set that every time here. Uh, that's one of the few things that I didn't like about it. Um, I printed a few things uh, a lot. I had a lot of failures. Those are on my my end uh, you know that's learning how to use the programs and putting in supports and all that that and that was all on me i want to thank creality for sending this to me let me opportunity to have something like this in my shop the only reason i did it was i saw a purpose for this here uh, i don't know when i'll be using it but i did see a purpose so um i give it a thumbs up and there'll be links in the description below uh, Thanks for watching.